Hi there. So in this video, we will take a look at Casper.js utility that you can use for headless browser testing. So Casper.js depends on Phantom.js for headless browser operations. So basically this is scripting utility written for Phantom.js and other like Slimer.js. Okay. So in this video, we will see how to load the web page and how to get page elements such as page title okay so this is going to be a simple script but you get the idea of where to go from here and how to perform additional tests for your website testing so first thing make sure that you have casper.js installed and the installation instruction will be different for each operating system so I have one video that you can check for installation of Casper.js on Windows. So take a look at that. Okay, for other OS and if you have it already installed, let's go ahead and code. So first thing, create variable Casper. You can name it any of your choice. I just named it Casper. Okay, so once that, can create instance for Casper and then call create method. Okay, then the next thing we will call start method. This method will point us to our website name. And then let's create one function. Okay. And here I'm going to use, let's say this dot echo. Okay. And for echoing, we are going to check this dot get title. Okay. And then semicolon at the end. So go through the code. First, we created Casper variable that requires Casper and then we can create instance of that then we used start method that calls for google.com and within which there is an inline function that equals each title okay so after that simply use sorry simply use Casper dot run okay so this code will help you get the web page title right so open console and here type in casper.js sample.js hit enter It will take some time to process the code. Okay, and here you'll find the page title Google listed right here. So like this, you can perform other testing operations as well, like finding your page elements using ID, expand, etc. You can also perform logging of errors Okay, so this is a simple video on how to use Casper.js for browser testing. 